Have you ever looked at an animal and wondered if they experience life in a conscious or even emotional way? In recent decades, there's growing scientific evidence of animal consciousness. But what actually defines consciousness? And if animals really are aware of themselves as individual beings, what does that imply about how we humans treat them? In this course, students will explore the possibilities of non-human animal sentience through scientific, philosophical, and ethical lenses in order to promote greater awareness, compassion, and respect for animals and their well-being. This course is designed to encourage careful thought and discussion of the topics covered in class. We will be reading selections from literature, as well as peer-reviewed scientific journal articles about consciousness studies. Students will be evaluated based on their participation in class discussions and through brief writing responses and quizzes to gauge their understanding and contemplation of the material. In the final project at the end of the semester, you will present and discuss an ethical issue or topic of your choice relating to animal consciousness. In class discussions, students will be presented with ideas and evidence and use both what they learn and their own experiences to form their own opinions about the philosophical questions and ethical issues we discuss. You will be presented with the information you need to come to your own conclusions. Firstly, we will discuss the current evidence of advanced animal cognition and self-awareness. For example, can animals adapt their behavior to problem-solve, categorize objects, or even interpret human behavior? Can some animals recognize themselves as individuals by looking at their reflection? Once we've been presented with this evidence, we'll dive into a multitude of topics surrounding animal wellness. Do animals experience emotions, perceive the suffering of others, or grasp their own mortality? If people came to believe that animals really are conscious, how might we adapt our care of animals in zoos and aquariums, laboratories, farms, or our own homes to provide for their psychological and emotional needs? How might veterinary care, animal cruelty laws, or animal experimentation change as a result? We will be discussing all of these questions and more.